Oh, by the way, some three people have asked me somebody's recording. So could I give uh, somebody's email address? There's three people who would like to have the recording. Yesterday, course. Uh, yesterday, today, the whole thing. Yes. Or can you give it to me later? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. But uh, for my mistake, yes. It's okay, it's okay. You know, I was recording and myself, I was recording yesterday. Okay, that's great. Uh, so maybe it's slowly I collected because it's three people who ask me, so. Can, can you pass it? Yeah, I think everyone has it. Uh, maybe you don't? Okay. So, no, no. So let's uh, read this. this is, I think you already have understood that when we have the word nano, it introduces an objection. So whenever we have nano, it means someone is going to bring up an objection. So nano, so uh, maybe let's first read split in the Sunday. Nano. 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 Idam. Idam. Prapana. Prapana. Yogyam. Yogyam. Idam. Idam. Na. Na. Iti. Iti. Artha. Artha. Kriya. Kriya. Praptim. Praptim. Antarena. Antarena. Nischetum. Nischetum. Ashakyam. Now, there is a mistake. I think this is a mistake, yeah. It should be Artha Kriya Praptim. I think this should be a compound. Artha Kriya Praptim should be a compound. I don't remember how it is in the edition. Hmm? Uh, no, no, no. No, we don't prapana yogi, we don't. Arta kriya praptim. I think there should be no space. It should be not. Uh, it should be a compound, I think. This is my guess. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yep. It sh this should be a compound. Even if the addition doesn't have it in compound, I'm confident this should be a compound. Uh, may I see? It's much later than that. It, no? It's here, it's here. See? Here. Oh, you, you escaped some part. I escaped some part? Yeah. There is nano Vyananketa Kruskatri. Ah! Oh, I didn't print it. No, but wait, what, uh, what about yesterday's thing? No, yesterday's thing is only for 1.1, day 1.4, so... Yes. No, I get it, I know what happened. <laughs> Why did I skip that? Yeah, no, I thought we already read all that. That's why. <coughs> I was convinced we read it. So, I have it here. And let's see how to do it. Yesterday we finished one, one point ten. So 
So we need 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, right? <coughs> and up to 1.3. At, at up to 1.3 end of the 3. Okay, wait. So then yesterday we didn't do 1.10. No. We did 1.10 yesterday. No, that's not possible. We did 1.1. 1. 1. 1, oh, sorry, 1.110. Okay, so 1.110. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, okay, 1.2, from 1.2 to up to 3.1.3. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I somehow skipped it. I don't know why. When I did the... So... the solution here I know what to do Yes, you miss. You are missing four pages. That's the problem. So what I can do is that. How many of you have got computers? So I think we have enough. We can manage. Maybe some up to share. Does anyone have a uh, We can print print print? also. I can, uh, I can go downstairs and print it. It's closed. Everything? Like everywhere? Yes. Well, the one nearby is closed. There's, uh, there's one, but it's a bit far. So maybe right now it's quicker if we... We are at 1.2. So let's read it first with Sandy. Nanu. Nyanam, Nyanam, Nyanam Kartra, 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 Purusham, Purusham Prayodhyam, Prayodhyam, Artham, Artham Karma Bhutam, Karma Bhutam Yadi, Yadi, Kadachi, Kadachi Na, na Prapayati, Tat, Katham, katham Aprapakatvat, Pramanam, pramanam Syat. Okay, now we read without Sandhi. Nanu jnanam kartra purusham prayodjam artham karma bhutam yadi kadachinna prapayati tat katham prapakatvat pramanam syat nanu jnanam yadi purusham prayodjam artham karma bhutam yadi yadi kadachinna prapayati tat katham prapakatvat pramanam syat so this is taking up one part of the definition that we found earlier, which was the one we were discussing, in fact, Tadartha Prapana Yogyam Jnana. Tadartha Prapana Yogyam Jnana, the definition that we were discussing just earlier. So if something is Pramana because it is Tadartha Prapana Yogya, then he asks this question. And the question is, the situation that we have with 
prapana is the situation of a causative sentence. Causative sentences often can, ha- can be dvikarsarka. They have two kartras, a primary kartra and the secondary one. So the person who directly does the action and the pe- person who causes that person to do the action. So the first one here is called kartra and the second one is called prayodhya. You see? So, if the uh, if the jnana, this awareness, which is the kartra, the agent, if on occasion, on some occasion, kadaji, na prapayati, does not bring to, does not cause to obtain, so does not cause to obtain what? So does not cause the purusha, the person, who is the prayodja, the one who is to be caused to apply himself. So he is being caused to do the action of pra. So this purusha, which is the prayodja, if he doesn't cause him to obtain the artha, the thing, which is karma bhutam, which is the object of the action, thus, then, here that is the same as kasma, a prapaka since it does not have the quality of being prapaka, something that makes you obtain something, katam pramanam syat, how could it be pramana? So, we had earlier said that the only thing which is pramana is something which is prapana yogya. And he says, but in this case, it doesn't make one obtain. So, in cases where it doesn't make you obtain something, then how can you say that it is pramana? This is the question. But, of course, the answer was already embedded in the, in the definition, because the definition didn't say tadarta prapaka. The definition said Tadarta prapana yogya. So, strictly speaking, if one had been really careful about the definition, maybe this question wouldn't come about. But the objection is based on equating prapana yogya with prapaka. See, that's the logic behind this objection of equating the two. So, overall, I hope you understand the sentence. No? You understand the sentence. Okay. So, you understand that Nanu introduces an objection. And yadi kadaji, if on some occasions, on some times, na prapayati, it doesn't cause X to obtain Y. What is X? Purusham prayodjam the person, which is the one who is to be made to apply himself to the object. And, what is why? Artam karma bhutam, the thing which is the object of the action. So if it doesn't cause X to obtain Y, how can jnana, which in, in this context is the agent, is the primary agent, since it doesn't have the quality of being prapaka, since it doesn't cause you to obtain, Naprapyati iti naprapaka. Then, how can you say that it is pramana? When you're, in your own definition, prapana was necessary to establish that the type of jnana is pramana. That's a question. So, here, Kartri would refer to this uh, uh, yeah, agent in grammatical sense, right? And then. Yeah. Uh, Prayodhya also this in the grammatical sense. But the secondary agent. Secondary agent. And then karma bhutam means object of the object in, in, the, in the grammatical, grammatical sense. Mm-hmm. That's why kartri is na, in napumsaka. Because in it qualifies jnana. Because he uh, uh, could have said the uh, kartraka arakam if you wanted. That would have been. Karta Karakam, specifying that it's a Karaka, but it's kind of understandable, so he didn't. 
but uh, the objection is fairly simple. If I say that, okay, the type of knowledge which is pramana is the one that makes you obtain an object. Now, sometimes I might see something, I might see it correctly, but then, for some reason, I don't obtain the thing that I have seen. Then, in that case, how can I say that my knowledge was pramana? That's the question. So, if you say that it is prapana yogya, doesn't that involve that every time there is a knowledge that is pramana, we actually go out and obtain the object of that knowledge? That's the question, basically. Like here, it's, uh, here it is expressed uh, negatively, but you could also understand it in this other way. If you said that it has to have prapana, then does it mean that every time we have a pramana, we are going to obtain that object? That seems to be strange, because there's among all the knowledges that we have, very few are such that we, in fact, obtain that object. And yet, we would normally consider them to be valid cognitions. So this is the, this is the question. Do you understand? Mm. Artan, artan is what the, the Purushan is to, is to obtain, right? Sorry? Artan here is the, is the object of the Purusha. Yes. Oh. And it's the object of the Jnana. Mm. Ucchate, it is explained. So Ucchate introduces the answer introduces the answer to the objection. But you don't... Okay, or you should repeat it. Ucchate. Na. Na. Hi. Jnanena. Purushaha. Purushaha. Gale paduka nyayena. Gale paduka nyayena. Balat. Balat. Arte. Arte. Pravartayitabhya. Now we read without splitting the sandhi. Nahi jnanena purusho gale paduka nyayena balad arthe pravartaitabhya. So nahi is like it is not the case that, so it's not the case that a person, Purushaha, should be made to engage in Artha, so Bala, so Pravarta Itabhya Arte is kind of made to engage in it, Bala, by force, Gale Paduka Nyayena, just like in the case of Gale Paduka. Putting one's uh, literally sandals on the throat, so forcing the person. So, putting what, sorry? No. sorry? Putting what? Sandals? Sandals? Sandals. Ah. So it's not like putting one's foot on the throat of somebody okay. and forcing the person to engage in that. That's not what jnana does. So in other words, there are cases where, okay, the person sees something, but the person might decide not to go and obtain it. In that case, the person doesn't obtain it. So, knowledge doesn't have to force the person to engage in the object. It doesn't need to do that. So, what, what is the case? Why? And then... He contrasts this what, with what jnana actually needs to do. That's the next sentence. Api, Api tu, tu, evam bhutam, evam bhutam idam, idam, vastu svarupam, vastu svarupam na, na, na anyatha, anyatha, anyatha iti, iti, anena, 
Actually, I kind of mistranslated it. I think it would be better to say it should generate. Yeah, I think I want to change this. Because I, I forgot to translate jnana. I, I, I translate it as, as if the word jnana was not there. So, so I want to change the translation a bit. It is not that awareness has to uh, make a person engage. Yeah. So, better translation than the one I wrote. It is not that awareness has to make a person engage in an intended reference by force, as if placing a foot on his throat. On the other hand, it should generate an ascertainment in the form, etc., etc. So, that, that's better. That's actually the sense. So, what what awareness needs to do is not to force the person to engage in the object. On the other hand, what it needs to do is, and now let's read it without splitting the sandy, apitu evam bhutam, idam vastu swarupam, nanyateti anena karena nishcayo janayitavya. Okay. Apitu means on the other hand, so this is contrasting. On the other hand, it's contrasting the the previous case. In the previous case, so what should it do? What should jnana do on the other hand? Janaitabhya. It should cause, so ra literally it's passive, so it should be something should be caused to be generated. Something should be generated. What should be generated? Nischaya, an ascertainment. So an ascertainment should be generated by jnana. What kind of ascertainment? An ascertainment in this form, anena aka arena, having this form, this uh, aspect. And then we have a sentence which represents like a thought. Evam bhutam idam vastu swarupam. So the, the nature of this object, this particular nature of the vastu, of the thing, idam vastu swarupam, evam bhutam. Evam bhutam nanyata. It is in this way and it is not in any other way. So it's, in, it's an ascertainment about how it is and it excludes any doubt. So it should create that kind of ascertainment. That's what jnana should do. It should, it doesn't need, so let's say you see water. What the knowledge of water does is not compel you by force to go and drink that water. What it does is to create an ascertainment, a certainty that that is water, it's not anything else. That's all it needs to do. Sorry, maybe Vastu put S the first one. Sorry, I missed some. Vastu. Yeah, yes, thank you. Thanks a lot. Vastu. Anena Karena Nishcha Yajana Yitavya. Okay, why does it have to do that? Then he says, next one, Saha, Saha Chet, 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 Tena, Tena Krataha, Krataha, Etavata, Etavata Eva, Eva, Asya, Asya Pramanyam, Pramanyam, Aviruddham. Aviruddham. Okay. Sache tena krataha, sache tena krataha, etava te vasya, 
प्रामान्यम अविरुद्धम सो इफ दैट सो चेत मींस इफ इफ दैट सह कृतः हैज बीन प्रोड्यूस तेना बाय द ज्ञानेना सो इफ द ज्ञाना हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड इट इफ द ज्ञाना हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड दैट निश्चय दैट असर्टेनमेंट एतावत एव जस्ट बाय दिस मच एतावत एव एतावता इज अ थर्ड विभक्ति सो इट मींस जस्ट बाय दिस मच अस्य प्रामाण्यम अविरुद्धम इट्स अस्य मींस अस्य ज्ञानस्य फॉर द ज्ञान प्रामाण्यम द क्वालिटी ऑफ बीइंग प्रमाणा अविरुद्धम इज अनकॉन्ट्रडिक्टेड सो बाय दिस जस्ट बाय दिस मच वी कैन असर्टेन दैट इट इज प्रमाणा दैट्स ऑल वी नीड वी नीड द uh the gnana to be able to create an ascertainment that's all so you understand what the idea is the first one it said you need to go out and reach the object if you don't then how do you know that this has got prapana but the answer is no as long as jnana can make you understand that the object is in this way certain in this way not any other way that is enough to say that it is pramana and then when well, he's going to tell us something more about that particular point so he says पुरुषः तु तयोजनवशा प्रवर्तताते प्रयोजन न प्रवर्तता पिशाच आदि सो नौ विदिट अगेन विदि पुषास्त प्रयोजनवशा प्रवर्तताते प्रयोजन न प्रवर्तता योगी पिशाचादि ओके सो दर्सोन पुष to on the other hand tatra means tasmin arthe in respect to that object pravartatam he might engage so he might engage in respect to that object prayojana bashat prayojana bashat means depending on uh, whether there is a purpose whether he has a purpose whether it is useful does it have any purpose if yes he might engage in the object rute prayojanam na pravartatam without a purpose rute prayojanam the word rute governs the second vibhakti so rute prayojanam means without a purpose na pravartatam he may not engage in it so he may or may not engage in it that is in respect to the person arthah va or the artha the thing itself योगी पिशाचादि अपहृयताम 
may be stolen, taken away, apahriyata, this is apahre, and this is a passive uh, optati. Just like the other ones, an atmanepada optati. So, root is hri, right? Or oh, har? Uh, hr, it should be hr, but in the passive it should become hri, I think. Uh, sorry, pravartatam is a uh, genitive plural, right? It's no, it's a verbal form. It's an optative uh, third person singular atmanipada. Oh. So, the, you see? So, the person might engage in the object or not, and the object might be taken away. Yogi Pishaja Adibi, by someone with special powers, like a yogin, a Pishacha, etc., a kind of demon, etc. So, it's not always certain that we are going to obtain the object, because on one side, the person might not want to have water, like I see water, but I don't water, I don't want water, I don't have any use for it, I'm not thirsty, so I don't go to get the water. Or the object itself might be taken away by someone. Let's say uh, a demon or a yogi, someone with special powers, can take it away. Sometimes they add other things. There might be some intervening obstacles. So there, there can be many reasons for which in the end one doesn't obtain the object. But, the, but now the question is, Jnanasya Kim Ayatam Ayatam Okay, but, well, with or without sound, it is kind of the same. How is that going to affect the awareness? Literally, it means, what has come, kim ayatam, jnanasya, to the knowledge itself? The knowledge itself happens now. The obtainment of the object is going to happen later on. So, how can I decide that that knowledge was not pramana just because of something that happens later? This is the point. That is the... So, the knowledge might be perfect. It's a perfect knowledge. But later, for some reason, I might not obtain the object. How can you say that it is the knowledge's fault? Since the knowledge is a necessary but not sufficient cause to obtain the, the object. That's the point. We need to have perfect knowledge to obtain the object. But perfect knowledge alone is not sufficient. I might know that that is a door. But in order for me to open that door... I need to stand up, go there, and open it. If I sit here, the door is not going to get open. But that's not because my knowledge that it's a door is faulty. So that is the point we made here. So that answers uh, one of the objections. Next is going to be another objection, but now is 2.06, so we can have a small break. Literally, it means what was a, what is obtained of attained. What? Yeah, I missed <coughs> something. I missed something which I. <coughs> uh, we just read it. Nyanasya ki Ah yes, one point three. So I think we should be one point three. Kshanikam samnapi pramanasya sangati hi. Kshanikam samnapi pramanasya sangati But that's just an editorial addition. It means, uh, it tells us uh, what the topic is going to be. So, now there's going to be another objection, which is based on momentariness. Basically, now the objector is pointing out that after all, our Pramana Vadi is Buddhist. So, there are some presuppositions in his philosophy. And the objector is going to turn these presuppositions against him, against his definition of Pramana. So, he says, Nanu, Nanu. Nanu. Mm -hmm. A Visambhada Katvena Visambhada Katvena Jnanasya 
ಪ್ರಾಮಾನ್ಯಂ ನನು ಅವಿಸಂವಾದಕತ್ವೇನ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೇಮಿಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಪ್ರೇಮಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಗ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಸೈಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ನನು ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಾನ್ಯಂ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಬೀನ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಜ್ಞಾನ on the part of jnana so the fact that awareness is pramana is due to avisambhada katvena due to its quality of not breaking its word tua so it's avisambhada ka tua avisambhada katvena is the third bhag so due to this quality of not breaking one's word we say that awareness is pramana this is the commonly shared presupposition according to your definition and now now is going to explain what is an avisambhada katva avisambhada katva he says avisambhada katva avisambhada katva there's a typo in the spreading of the sandhi if you check i wrote avisanga avisan vadaka tam instead of tuam you see you see a v is missing 1 3 to splitting of the sandhi v of katuam is missing you see yes so there should be a v there so avisambhada katvam avisambhada katvam drishta drishta artha artha prapana prapana avisambhada katvam cha avisambhada katvam cha drishta artha prapana drishta artha prapana and the quality of not breaking one's word is because of causing one to obtain an object that one has seen so we say that something has got avisambhada katvam this quality of not breaking one's word if that makes us obtain prapana the object artha that we have seen so i see water if i stand up and i go to obtain the water then yes i saw the water and they got it then it works it's avisambhada katva so it means one doesn't have to literally take hold of the water but seeing and getting the knowledge that it is water that is enough yes but it has to be able to if i want mm. if i want to go there and there are no obstacles i should be able to get the water it's not that i go there and then i find out that i was wrong it was not water if i go there and it was not water then that means i was wrong so i was wrong in the very beginning yeah so okay that means i didn't see well my knowledge was not pramana but now he is going to take another angle so he says na cha na cha yat drishtam yat drishtam tat prapyate tat prapyate kshanikatvat kshanikatvat king cha ಕಿಂಚ ರೂಪಂ ರೂಪಂ ದೃಷ್ಟ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯತೆ ಚ ಚ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವ್ಯಂ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವ್ಯಂ ಓಕೆ ನ ಚ ನ ಚ ಯತ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಂ ತತ್ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯತೆ ಯತ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಂ ತತ್ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯತೆ ಕ್ಷಣಿಕತ್ವ ಕ್ಷಣಿಕತ್ವ ಕಿಂಚ ಕಿಂಚ ರೂಪಂ ದೃಷ್ಟಂ ರೂಪಂ ದೃಷ್ಟಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯತೆ ಚ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವ್ಯಂ so and it is not that nature what is seen is the same thing that is obtained yad drishtam tat prapyate it's not that i see one thing and i obtain the same thing it doesn't happen why kshanikatva because of momentariness because things last only one moment if now i see water 
by the time I go and get the water, it's a different thing. Because that lasted only one moment. So, you're Buddhist, you believe in momentariness. How can you say that you see one thing and you obtain it? It doesn't happen. If you go there, what you obtain is something, is a different moment. Moreover, Kincha, Rupam Drashtam, Prapyateja, Sprashtavyam. If I see something, that is Rupa. What I see with the eye, Rupa, visible form. But what I get is Prashtavya, something which I can touch with the hand. So these are different atoms, these are different types of Upadaya Rupa, strictly speaking. So there, there are different things that uh, are seen and obtained. What I see is the Upadaya Rupa called Rupam, and what I obtain is the Upadaya Rupa called Sprashtavya, or the Mahabhutas, because actually Sprashtavya is two types. The Mahabhutas themselves are part of Sprashtavya, and then there is another part of Sprashtavya, which is Upadaya Rupa. So, in any case, it's two different things. So, both from the perspective of mentalness and from the pers perspective of distribution in atoms, I don't get the same thing. So, this takes the Buddhist analysis of time and space into account. When we analyze the object in terms of time, it is momentary. So, what is perceived at one moment and what is obtained at another moment is two different things. When we take into account the spatial constitution of the object, the object is made up of different atoms. Some atoms are Rupa Dharmas, some of them are Sprashtavya Dharmas. The ones I see are Rupa Dharmas, the one I obtain is Sprashtavya Dharma. So, again, it's something different. So, how can you say that you actually see something and it makes you obtain that thing? That's the objection you see is not what you get. Exactly. What you see and what you get is totally different. So, one, three, four. Tataha. Tataha. Anyat. Anyat. Drishtam. Drishtam. Anyat. Anyat. Prapyate. Prapyate. Iti. Iti. A pratita prapana. A pratita prapana. Katham. Katham Pramanyam Pramanyam Asya Asya Sangachatam Sangachatam So Tataha, therefore Oh, sorry, we have to read without Sandy Tatonya Drishtam Tatonya Drishtam Anyat Prapyata Anyat Prapyata Iti Anyat Prapyata Iti Apratita Prapana Apratita Prapana Katham Tatam. Pramanyam, Pramanyam. Asya. Asya. Asya Sangachatam Sangachatam Okay, therefore a different thing is seen, a different thing is obtained Anyat Drishtam, Anyat Prapyate Iti, therefore, here it functions like thus Apratita Prapanat since what is been made to obtain is not what has been perceived so, pra, there is apratitasya prapana. There is the op causing to obtain prapana of something which is not what we perceived. Apratita. Therefore, katam, how, ka, how pramanyam asya jnanasya, for that awareness, pramanyam, the quality of being pramana, sangachatam, could make sense. So this again an optative Atmanepada. It's uh, from Sangachate. So how could it make sense? How did, could this Pramanya make sense? Since what we obtain is not what we have cognized. So how can that cognition be said to be Pramana? So this uh, this ra rounds it up, rounds up the objection. And now he answers it. One, three, five. Na. Na. Yadi. Yadi. Nama. Nama. Vastutaha. Vastutaha. Anya. Anya. Eva. Eva. Prapyate. Prapyate. Tatha. Tatha. Api. Api. Drishtam. Drishtam. Eva. Eva. Maya, Maya. Praptam, Praptam. Iti, Iti. Ekatva, 
अध्यवसायात प्रतीत प्रापनम अभिधीयते ओके सो दियांस ओ सॉरी एक्चुअली दिया उस संधि न यदि नाम वस्तु तो न्यादेवा प्राप्यते अथापि दृष्टमेव माया प्राप्तम् इत्येकत्वाद्यवसाया प्रतीतप्रापनम् अभिधीयते ओके सो द आंसर इज न व्हिच मींस इट इज नॉट सो न जस्ट मींस नो बट इफ यू वांट टू मेक इट इनटू अ सेंटेंस वी हैव टू ऐड समथिंग it's not like that. Why does it say it's not like that? Yadinama vastuta anyadeva prapyate. Even though yadinama, yadinama is something like if indeed, although indeed, so although indeed, even though vastuta in reality, so from the perspective of Paramartha, anyat eva prapyate. Something else, indeed, is what we obtain. So what we obtain is clearly something else. Fine. Tathāpi, nevertheless, drishtameva maya praptam, iti ekattva adhyavasāya. Due to this adhyavasāya, it's a kind of uh, conceptual ascertainment. Conceptual ascertainment of ekattva, of Oneness. What kind of oneness? Drushtameva maya praptam. I have obtained just what I have seen. So, when we go get the water, we think, I obtained just what I have seen. So, in terms of this Adhyavasaya, pratita prapanam abhidhiyate. We speak, abhidhiyate, or it is said that, pratita prapanam. There is the causing to obtain what has been cognized. So it's only from a perspective of samrati, in other words. It's a kind of correct samrati, it's not really vastuta, it's from a perspective of adhyavasaya. So it's from a perspective of the type of samanyas that we create. But not all samanyas are completely wrong. So there is some connection. But this is the part that he has not really explained very uh, explicitly. But although this is a type of conceptual imputation, the conceptual imputation that I obtained the same water that I saw, but nevertheless there is a causal continuum between the moment of the water that I saw earlier and the water that I go and obtain, and even between the... Um, Rupa dharmas and the sprashtabya dharmas which make up the tall object water. So thanks to these causal connections, that type of adhyavasaya, yes, is a conceptual construct, but it's not totally invalid. So among samanyas, there's different types. Some of them are completely imagined. Some of them have, are imagined, but they have some basis in reality. So this is one such case. There is some basis in reality between the, in somewhat identifying the water that I obtained with the water that I saw. So it's not completely baseless. That, that is the point. Although it doesn't say it very explicitly. And we understand it. Uh, we understand it maybe better with the counterexample to some extent. Which is 136. Yat, 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 tu, tu, marijika, marijika, adi, adi, jala, jala, nyanam, nyanam, tat, tat, a, a, prapana, prapana, yogyatvat, yogyatvat, apramanam, apramanam, eva, eva. So, yat tu. Marijikadi Jaladnyanam Marijikadi Jaladnyanam Tad 
ಅಪ್ರಾಪನ ಯೋಗ್ಯತ್ವ ಅಪ್ರಮಾಣಮೇವ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ಯ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಸೊ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಯು ಕುಡ್ ಸೈ ಬಾತ್ ಯಾತ್ ಮರೀಚಿಕ ಆದಿ ಜಲ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಾತ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕೊಗ್ನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಜಲ ಮರೀಚಿಕ ಆದಿ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮಿರಾಜ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಮಿರಾಜ್ ತಾತ್ ದಾತ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಪ್ರಾಪನ ಯೋಗ್ಯತ್ವ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಯು ಒಪ್ಟೈನ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ರಮಾಣಮೇವ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ clearly not a pramana is indeed not a pramana exclusively not a pramana it has no pramana quality because it doesn't make you obtain anything even you wouldn't get even a, a kind of water that you get you through a devasaya in that case you go there you get no sprashtavya you don't get when you see this water these rupa dharmas which make up for the composite object called water that composite object called water is also connected to some sprashtavya dharma that if you are able to somehow connect to your own physical continuum are going to quench your thirst but if you get these rupa dharmas in the case of mirage you go there you don't get those prashtavya dharmas you can try to drink but nothing is there and in fact even the rupa dharmas are not there anymore so with that it's a matter of causal um, coherence if you wish so okay this is the section that i had forgotten to uh, print but now we are at the printed section through the vasaya is what i told you about so, the samanya uh, so the causal connection is that uh, it's kind of through causal connection uh, but he hasn't mentioned causal connection right mm, yes he did not mention it yes so the main point is the creation of a samanya but as i said this samanya is not so bad not all samanyas are equally bad because of the root samgam the word samgati would also have the meaning in the logical context samgati samgati yes yeah, yeah, yeah i think so i think it it should be one of its meaning when you say that uh, something is kind of makes sense asangati yeah i think so i think we might have found it here it's something like it doesn't hold together kind of it really doesn't come together does it mean yeah I yeah. Think. yeah yeah something again it's a matter of idiom so it's a little difficult to uh, translate well in english sangachate yujyate uh there's a few others sangachate we have a I mean the saying this idea of meeting kind of meeting or huh. with this with the sir and the root e. in the sense of uh, making sense ah uh, no. yes yeah well english has many advantages but also many disadvantages which is it's not a productive language in terms of prepositions and uh, mm-hmm. and uh, roots so you cannot really play around with it in such a way that 
you would be able to touch a little bit better the Sanskrit. It has certain constraints. It can borrow words. That's mm. maybe its greatest strength. But in terms of creating something from its roots, etc., it's quite difficult. Yeah, and, um, they, they, they don't use the root of going. They use the idea of consistence, hmm. co-standing kind of consist. To be consistent. Or to make sense, for example, which is a, mm -hmm. a unique English expression. Okay, so now we can go to one four, which you have printed out. So So this is a discussion of Akta Kriya, but it's a little bit more than that. And as I was saying, here there should be uh, at least no space here, and this should be with a hyphen. You see, just this. The, in the very beginning, it's a very small thing, one hyphen. Very first. Yeah. Arta Kriya Prati. It's one compound. Again, you already know that if we have nano, it's going to be an objection. So when there is nano, you can be somewhat assured that there's an objection. So nano, uh, we can read it by splitting the sandy. Nano, idam, prapana, yogyam, idam, na, iti, artha, kriya, praptim. Antarena, Antarena Nischetum, Nischetum Ashakyam. Ashakyam. Okay, so it's kind of the same objection that we had earlier, but it's been elaborated upon. And again, the water example helps us. I'm choosing it on purpose because it gives the example of Jalatnyana, so it's not just my own choice. So now let's read it without Sandy. Namidam. Prapana yogyam, prapana yogyam idam, idam, idam neti, neti arta kriya praptim antarena nischetum ashakyam. Okay, nano again, well, so this is our objection, it's telling, it's telling us the objection, that it's an objection. Idam prapana yogyam idam na. So, this is fit to make us obtain something, and this is not. So, idam prapana yogyam, idam na. This is fit to make us get something, this is not. Na idam... So, this, nischetum ashakyam. It's impossible to ascertain. So, we cannot ascertain this. Nischetum ashakyam. Iti... Nischetum ashakyam. We cannot ascertain this thing that this is fit to make us obtain something and this is not. Without antarena, arta kriya praptim. Obtaining the arta kriya, the <coughs> purposeful efficacy. So the efficacy of the object. Arta kriya is a key word in Pramana text. It means the ability to accomplish a purpose. So, for example, what kind of purposes can water accomplish? Quenching thirst. So, until I go drink the water and know that it has the Arta Kriya of water, I don't know that it's water. For example, I could go there, I drink it, and then it burns. And then I find that, oh, it was not water. This was vinegar. So I got confused. It looked like water, but I went to drink it, and its Arta Kriya was not the Arta Kriya of water. So until we obtain that Arta Kriya, that efficacy, we don't know. We don't know whether it is Prapana Yogya or not. Here, Arta Kriya is, should be taken as efficacy or efficacy of the purpose. Just efficacy. 
Purp or purposeful efficacy. So he says, 142, he continues with the, with the objection. Jnana, Jnana utpatti, utpatti matrena, matrena tu, tu na, na bhranta, abhranta yoho, bhedaha, avadharyate. Jnana utpatti matrena tu, Na bhranta bhranta yor bhedo vadharyate. So, just only by the arising of jnana, so, the, the mere, through the mere arising of awareness, jnana utpatti matrena, just through this much, on the other hand, to na avadharyate bhedaha. The distinction is not ascertained. Na bhedaha avadharyate. What the distinction between what? Branta abranta yoho. Between something which is in error and something which is not in error. So the distinction between something which is erroneous and something which is not erroneous cannot be ascertained just by the arising of knowledge. When I just cognize water, I don't know yet whether it's really water or whether I'm wrong, because in order to know that it was water, I have to go there and drink it. When I go there and drink it, I will know, oh, this is water, or no, this is uh, vinegar. So this is the point. And now he summarizes the, the objection. Tataha. Ja, katham, tat, samya, jnanam, iti, che, tatascha, katham, tat, samya jnanam, iti, che, so, tataha means then, therefore, and therefore, tataha cha, katham tat samya jnanam, how can that be perfect cognition? How can you say that that is perfect cognition, right awareness? Iti ched, so if someone were to say like this, and then he's going to answer. So iti ched means if you have said all this, if all of this comes up, then there is an answer. And the answer is 144, na, esha, Dosha. Neisha dosha. You might want to put a visarga for Esha if you want, actually. It's kind of okay either way, but I mean not in the one here, but just in the splitting of the Sunday. Just to clarify that it's a first debug. This is not there is no such flaw. Esha dosha, no. There is no such defect. There is no defect like that. So, no problem. That problem is not there. Why not? And now he's going to tell us. One, four, five. So now we read by uh, splitting the Sandhi first. Yadi. Yadi. Api. Api. Jnana. Jnana. Matra. Matra. Udayat. Udayat. Vaishishtyam. Anayoho Avadharayitum Na Shakyate Tatha Api Jnana Vishesha Udayat Yatha Ekasya Vaishishtyam Tatha Ujjate Okay, now this is interesting, this is quite interesting, because, and I think the reasoning that he's going to introduce now 
I have some vague memory that actually this comes from Jnana Sri Mitra. I think that this, uh, this particular line of argument might come from Jnana Sri Mitra. You should check Kajiyamai. He should have some note about this. I don't remember which work of Jnana Sri Mitra discusses this. It might even be the Anupalabdi Rahasya, but I'm not sure. But there is this idea of Mandabuddhi, of the uh, weak perception as opposed to Patutara. So I think that is... Uh, well, Mokshakara Gupta is quite late. He's even after Jnana Sri Mitra. And he knows even Jnana Sri Mitra's work. So it's another feature of his work that actually, although it's an introductory work, makes it quite interesting. So he says, oh, now we have to read it without Sandy. Yadhyapi, Jnana Matro Dayat, Vaishishtyam Anayor Avadharaitum Nashakyate, Vaishishtyam Anayor Avadharaitum Nashakyate, Tathapi, Jnana Visheshu Dayat, Yathei kasya vaishishtyam tathochyate. This is very clever. Now, really, this is very clever. It's a very clever move. If you think about it, it's uh, quite brilliant. And also the way it has been presented. Now, the point that he had made, I, I would like you to pay attention to the matra, because the point is matra. Matra is an exclusion, right? It means only this much. So he says, Jnana Matra Udayat. Just by the arising of awareness, we cannot find any Vaishishtya. We cannot find any special quality, any difference between the two. So Vaishishtyam here is kind of a synonym of Veda. But it's interesting it's clever to use Vishesha, Vaishishtyam, because it also means excellence. So there's also a slight double meaning. So, Jnana Matra Udaya is the arising, just, is the arising of only Jnana. So, earlier the contrast was just the arising of Jnana, as opposed to the arising of the obtainment of the Arta Kriya also. So you need the Jnana, not just the Jnana Udaya, but also the Arta Kriya Prapti Udaya in order to get... But he says, okay, we agree that the Matra is not sufficient. So he says, even though, Yadhyapi, Jnana Matra Udaya, by the arising of just the awareness, Vaishishtya Manayoho, Avadare Tum Nashakyate, it's not possible to ascertain any difference, any specificity among those two, Vaishishtyam Anayoho, that happy. Nevertheless, Jnana Vishesha Udayat, Yatha Ekasya Vaishishtyam, Tatha Ucchate. The way in which the excellence or the specificity of one of them, yata e kasya vaishishtyam avadare tum shakyate, it's possible to uh, opti, uh, ascertain thanks to jnana vishesha udayat, the arising of a specific type of jnana, specific type of awareness, tatha ucchate, then that is going to be explained now. So we can show you that we can differentiate between uh, the, the branta and the branta, branta jnana and a branta jnana, you say we cannot differentiate between these two, but I'm going to tell you how you can differentiate between uh, the special quality of one of them. And now he's going to explain that in 146. That, that is probably... Well, actually, uh, 
146 and 147 together are probably, I think, what is derived from Jnana Shri Mitra, maybe directly. So, slightly longer sentence, 146. Tatha, hi, yadi, nama, manda buddhi, utpatti vashat, a visambada katvam, jnanasya, na, avadharaitum, samartaha, tatha, api, this pi, but that's a very weird thing that happens sometimes. I think that's actually autocorrection. Daha, Paka, Avagahana, Snana, Pana, Unmajana, Adi, Arthakriyam, Durataha, Anubhavataha, Narasya, Darshanena, Uchalat, Dhuma, Adi, Darshanena, Cha, Avadharayati. So he says, Tathahi. <coughs> Uh, oh, sorry, I have to read the whole thing. Tatahi, Yadinama, Manda Buddhir, Utpatti Vashat, Avisambada Katvam, Jnanasya, Na, Avadharayitum Samartaha, Tathapi, Daha, Paka, Avagahana, Avagahana snana, snana, Pana, pana Unmajjana, Adi, adi Arthakriyam, Durato Nubhavato, Narasya, Narasya Darshanena, Darshanena Uchalat, Dumadi Darshanena, Cha, Avadharayati. Okay, now one tricky thing is whether Manda Buddhihi means a person who is somewhat mentally a bit slow. I think that's it. I think Manda Buddhi is someone who was a, who's a little bit slow. Slow in one's uh, buddhi, one's intellect, if you wish. I think that's the idea. Kajiyama translates in a different way, but I think that's the idea. So I will stick to that translation now. So Tatai, it's in this way. Yadinama, even though Manda Buddhihi, a person uh, who's a bit slow in one's intellect, Utpatti Vasha, uh, just by force of the arising, Avisambada katva jnanasya na avadharitum samartaha is not capable, samartaha. Yeah, and I think this is a person whose mind is slow because he says samartaha, which is singular. Sorry, it's masculine. So it has to be a bahubrihi because the word buddhi itself is not buddhi. The word buddhi is a feminine word. So manda buddhihi, if it's used in the masculine, that means it refers to a person whose buddhi is weak. So that type of person is not capable of ascertaining na avadare tum samartaha avisambada katvam jnanasya the quality of not breaking its word on the part of awareness. Tatapi, nevertheless, so even though he cannot do it just by the mere arising of knowledge, Darshanena, by seeing. Durataha, from far. Anubhavataha narasya. A person, a man who is experiencing what? Artakriyam, 
the purposeful efficacy, meaning of water, like of water or uh, other things, daha, paka, avagahana, snana, pana, unmajjana, adi. So what, is, what can water do? Daha, uh, daha, Bur burning, huh? washing, daha is burning, paka cooking, avagahana, avagahana, uh, floating maybe, what's avagahana, or plunging yeah. down, yeah, getting immersed, maybe. yeah, yeah, right, right, Avag sinking, sinking, something like sinking, but getting immersed is even better, Look. So this, so this person also does that. Snana, so taking bath. Pana, drinking. Unmajjana, um, floating. Adi, etc. So he sees that a man, some men, can do all these things with water. Then, and also, Uchaladdumadi darshanena. By seeing that there is smoke, some kind of smoke coming up, some uh, vapor coming up, avadareti then he can ascertain that it's water. So, if he's Manda Buddhi, just by seeing the water, he cannot say, oh, this is really water. He needs to see the Artha Kriya, fine. He, but, and he can see the Artha Kriya even without going himself there. He can see the Artha Kriya and then he knows, oh, it's water. Because this person can do all these things with it. And then he ascertains that it's water. And that's the Manda Buddhi. Moreover, now is one four seven. A manda buddhi. A manda buddhi. Two. Two. Patu. Patu. Tara. Tara. Pratyakshena. Pratyakshena. Eva. Eva. Avadharayati. Avadharayati. Na. Na. Tu. Tu. Artha. Artha. Priya. Priya. Pratya. Pratya. A manda buddhistu. Patutara Pratyakshineva Avadharayati Natu Artha Kriya Pratya On the other hand, to a person whose uh, intellect is not slow, Amanda Buddhi, Patutara Pratyakshena, because he has a more skilled Pratyaksha, Tarata, Tara means is a comparative, so patu tara, because you have a, a more skillful knowledge derived from the proximity of the senses, just because of that, patu tara pratyakshena eva avadareti, can ascertain that, natu arta kriya praptya, and not because he obtains arta kriya, so manda buddhi, the person who is Manda Buddhi has to ascertain it uh, through by seeing actually the Artha Kriya. But the person who's uh, who's not Manda Buddhi only needs a clearer perception in order to say that that is water. So, in other words, he needs a perception that is clear enough that makes it uh, absolutely certain that it cannot be vinegar, for example. I see very clearly that it's water. So he has to see enough of the quality of the Rupa Dharma of water that he knows it cannot be vinegar, it cannot be anything else. So that is the answer to that uh, first objection. Now it's going to be another objection about how does it work for Shrotra Dhyana? And this objection actually is linked to the the very first verse in some, in the most usual arrangement of Pramana Vartika, this is the very first thing that Dharmakirti discusses. But now it's three o'clock, so we can have a small pause. Yadi, a visamvada lakshanam, pramanyam, tada, shrotra, Jnanasya Adhikata Artha Aprapakatvat Katham 
इति चेत ओके यद्यविसंवादलक्षण प्राण्य तदा श्रोत्रज्ञानगतापक कथम प्राण्यम चेत न ओके नो दिस इज नो an entirely easy uh, objection because it could mean two different things if you think about it it could have two slightly different meanings i wonder kajima might have something to say about it but actually we can interpret it in two two slightly different ways so if pramanyam so yadi pramanyam if the quality of being pramana is characterized or it has as its defining trait avisambada not breaking one's word avisambada lakshanam tada then adigatartha aprapakatvat since it does not make one obtain aprapakatvat the artha the object which is understood adigatartha shrotra jnanasya katam pramanyam how could shrotra jnanam the awareness which comes from the from the ear from hearing katam pramanyam how could it have the quality of pramanyam of being pramana iti chet na if someone asks like this the answer is no wrong like you're wrong to think that it doesn't have pramanyam that's the basic gist of this exactly which is adigata which is understood yeah now the tricky part is what do we mean by adigata for example if i hear a sound like this one does it mean that i understand that there's an object but it doesn't allow me to obtain it is this what is meant or does it refer to words i think it makes better sense if it refers to words that's what i'm thinking because otherwise if i hear some water if i go there i do get water but if i hear the word water i am not going to get water you understand what i mean so i think this interpretation makes better sense if i hear water falling somewhere i know there's a waterfall i go there i will get water but if somebody says water i'm not going to get any water so what pramanyam does it have maybe that's it maybe but actually i'm not sure i find both of them both interpretations are a little tricky the first one i don't see exactly why there is the non obtainment why is there non obtainment if i hear i can hear water just as much as i see it water can make some noise which is very recognizable and is unique to water and if i go in the direction of that noise possibly i can get it maybe maybe uh one reason is that if i just hear a sound i don't know what is in between me and that object maybe that's the idea but i'm not really sure but there might be another reason is that okay 
it's not the sound of water, but the sound itself. In that case, the, the, sound, and, the sound itself is the object, in a way. You see what I mean? Like, it's best understood if we listen to music. So, when I hear music, I get Shrotradhyana of that music, and there's nothing else to obtain. So, where is the prapana? There is no prapana. I just hear music. That's it. So, how can you say that it makes you obtain something? I think that that is the case, according maybe to how the answer is. So, let's look at the answer and then tell me whether this makes sense to you or not. 149. Artha, Artha Swarupa, Swarupa Pratitihi, Pratitihi Hi, hi Pramanyam Artha Swarupa Pratiti Hi Pramanyam So the the perception of the nature of the object itself is the Pramanyam is its quality of being pramanya. He here means yasmat, because, so when he says, iticet na, if you say like this, it is not like that, he means yasmat, because pramanyam, the quality of being pramana is artasvarupa pratiti, the perception of the nature of the object, that's all. So just when we listen to music, the arta kriya is just the music, there's nothing beyond. That's all. We just recognizing the nature of that sound is what we get by Shrotradnyana. There is nothing beyond that. <laughs> if, we hear the, if we hear the water running, we just want to hear the water running. We don't want to get the water running by water. Getting of the water. If we want to get the getting of water, we have to but the reason, I think, is because if you see water, you think, oh, that's water. You don't think that's the visible form of water. That's, but if you hear, you say, this is the sound of water. But if we hear there, are, there is some water in that place, in this specific place, in the case, we can come from. Yes, but that's about the water. It's not about the sound of water. Our artha is not jala, it's jala shabda. That's the difference. Yeah. When it is the object of the eye, our artha is jala. Excuse me, one second. When it is the object of the eye, our artha is jalam. When it is the object of the ear, our artha is not jalam, it's jala shabda. You see? That's a difference. That's how this one works. Uh, one second, excuse me. So, so, Yerutno is about the other. Okay. One four ten. Tat cha bahya artha kriya praptim antarena api. Sambhavati. Sambhavati. Tatcha Bahyartha Kriya Praptim Bahyartha Kriya Praptim Antarenapi Antarenapi Sambhavati. Sambhavati. So, uh, rather simple, uh, rather simple, uh, uh, but <laughs> there is one difficulty though. I would say that tat here actually means therefore and therefore, that's my guess, because... Ah, no, 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 no. Then I made a mistake before. The he was not yasmat. It was actually... No, no, it's okay. Because pramanya is artha swarupa pratiti, so because the quality of being pramana is just the cognition of the actual nature of the object, and that pramanyam, tatcha pramanyam, and that type of pramanya, is possible, sambhati, bahyarta kriya praptim antarenapi, 
even without obtaining the Artha Kriya, the uh, the um, efficacy of the an outer efficacy, even without obtaining an outer efficacy. But you see, this part, this part of the answer, is what makes me think. Although I'm not sure. that it is, uh, it's talking about words. Although later he says something that is not in that direction. So this I find is a, just a little tricky. And to confirm that it's something tricky, he quotes Dharmakirti. So, and he doesn't quote the Nyaya Bindu, he's quoting the Pramana Vartika. Now, if you want to read the most difficult text ever imagined. I think that the Pramana Vartika is a very good candidate. Like if you... Haru was saying that the Pramana Vartika is a bit easier than Jnana Shri Mitra. I don't think so. <laughs> I think Jnana Shri Mitra comparatively is easy okay. compared to reading Dharmakirti straight. I find the Pramana Vartika is a complete puzzle. It's really extremely difficult to read. But anyhow, now to help us, we have this quote from Dharmakirti. Let's see a little bit what it says. <laughs> Antarena means without. Without obtaining the outer Artha Kriya. And even without? Yes, even without obtaining the this Pramanya of the Artha Swarupa Pratiti is possible. Wouldn't be uh, this efficacy related towards the object or directed towards the outer object? The tricky part is the Bahya. Yes. The tricky part is the Bahya. What, what do I mean by Bahya? Because if I'm listening to music, that's considered to be Bahyarta. The, the Shabda is Bahyarta. So, this works only if we are referring to words. If we're referring to words, then maybe it means, okay, because when I hear a word, I get an imagined inner object, and then I don't need to see the Bahyarta Kriya. Even without any Bahyarta Kriya, I, do, I can cognize the nature of that object in my mind. So maybe that's it. But I'm not really sure. So that's why I would like to see whether we can maybe uh, yeah, but I think that's it. I think that is uh, my guess is that it's about words. And let's see, but let's just see whether I don't think that the the quote from Dharmakirti itself is sufficient to help us, I don't think so, but there's something he says later that maybe gives us some idea about one direction or another. So, yat, uh, so yat uktam, it should be yat, not yat. Yat, yat uktam, a visambadi, jnanam, Pramana Abhisam. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's Pramana Abhisam. Ah, I forgot Pramana. Yeah, it's the, the word Pramana uh, was not there. Sorry. Yat? No, I'm reading here. Without Sandhi, with Sandhi. Yat? Uptam? Pramana? A visambadi, jnanam, artha kriya, stitihi, a visambadanam, iti. So, this is the very beginning of the Pramana Vartika, which gives us the definition of Pramana and then the definition of avisambadana. So, 
Let's read it again without Sandhi. Yaduktam Pramanam Avisambadi Jnanam Artha Kriyastiti Avisambadana Iti. So, definition of Pramana is Pramanam Avisambadi Jnanam. Uh, pramana is a type of awareness which doesn't break its word. And then what's the definition of avisambadanam? Avisambadanam artha kriyastiti. Avisambadana is the establishment of the artha kriya, of the efficacy. So these are they're just two short definitions. First definition is definition of pramana. Second definition, definition of avisambadana. Uh, in contradictory, will, will not work here. So do not break. Non contradictory. Non contradictory. Well. Yes, and not contradicted might be better. But actually, yeah, it's, it kind of works. There's no real single word that works very well for Avisambada, I have to say. Even breaking, my word, breaking one's word is not really too good. I just used it because also others don't use it, and by using it I could add one feature of... Uh, Okay, uh, let's see how it works for Shabda. So he says 1, 4, 12. Shabdasya. Shruti. Matrena. Eva. Charita. Arthatva. Shruti. Eva. Tatra. Arthakriya. Stiti. So Shabdasya. Shruti matre neva, Charita arthatvat, Shruti reva, Tatra, Artha kriyastiti. So, since sound, Shabdasya, completes its Artha, completes its purpose, Charita arthatvat, Shruti matre neva, just by merely being heard, Shrutireva Tatra Artha Kriyastiti, hearing the Shabda itself is the Artha Kriyastiti, the establishment of its purposeful activity in respect to that, in respect to Shabda. So, since the Artha Kriya of Shabda is no other than being heard, when we hear the sound, that's it, we have the Artha Kriya. So the Pramanyam, the Abhisambhada Kattva is done. The Artha Kriya of water might be something more, namely quenching thirst. But the Artha Kriya of sound is just being heard. So in that case, once we hear the sound, it's done. Pramanyam is established immediately. Like purposeful activity for Artha Kriya. Yeah, the, that sometimes as it is purposeful activity. We really have in Russian good way of expressing it, like an activity that is according to the purpose. In one oh. word. Yeah. Well, there is something similar. Uh, what is teleology? Teleological activity, something like that. But. Is here, here, here establish? Something like establishment. The establishment of purposeful activity is just by hearing. Okay, let's see one four thirteen. Yatha. Ravi. Chandra. Ambuddha. Chitra, Chitra Adinam, Adinam Darshanam, Darshanam Eva, Eva Artha, Artha Kriya, Kriya Stiti. Stiti. So this is why what makes me think that it really refers to words. This example makes me think that it really refers to words. And now maybe you'll understand what I mean. It's just like Yatha. In the case of a painting and so forth, 
of the sun, the moon, or a cloud, Ravichandra Ambuddha, Darshanameva Artha Kriyastitihi, the establishment of its purposeful activity is just seeing it. In other words, if I see the sun in a painting, the Artha Kriya of that Ravi Chitra is nothing but the, the, the seeing it. It's just seeing that uh, painting of the sun. I don't need the heat of the sun. Similarly, maybe that's the idea. If I hear the sound of water, as long as I heard the sound of water, that's enough. I don't need... It has already done its Artha Kriya. I don't need to get my uh, thirst quenched. I think that's the idea. So maybe no, we don't need words. Maybe it works even without words. Ambuddha is lotus? Ambuja would be water. Ambuddha is a cloud. Ambuddha is purple. It's a rain cloud. Something which gives water. Jalada, Ambuddha. Ambun, Dadati, Ambuddha Dati. Right? It is Ambuddha. And now there's a verse which might help us. And this verse, I forgot, maybe Pradnyakara Gupta, I'm not sure. Tat Uktam Nyeya Swarupa Samvittihi Ishta Tatra Kriya Stitihi Iti Taduktam Nyeya Swarupa Samvittir Ishta Tatra Kriya Stitihi Iti So Tatra, in that context, in respect to that, Kriyastitihi, which is brief for Artha Kriyastitihi, the establishment of purposeful activity, efficacy, Nyeya Swarupa Samvittir Ishta is accepted to be the experience, the awareness, Samvittir, of Nyeya Swarupa, of the nature of the object of awareness. So, when we come to understand or perceive the nature of the object of cognition, that itself is considered to be the Artha Kriya, its purposeful activity. So this is just a verse which repeats the same idea, but this is to give it some authority. So the verse I would guess is Pradnyakra Gupta. That would be my guess. Samvitti. is the same as Samvedana. And, uh, it means to here Ishta accepted, accepted. Mm -hmm. not implied. No, 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 absolutely not. Uh -huh. Literally means wished. Mm -hmm. experiencing the nature of object? Sorry? And do they explain what does it mean that it's experiencing the nature of object? Uh, no, they don't explain it, but they had explained it earlier. You just recognize, oh, this is the sound of water. Oh. That means you know the nature of your nature. That's it, finished. <laughs> Arte Kriya is done. You don't need to go and drink the, yeah. the rain. Get wet. Right.
、ゴッドだと言ってないんです。So, since it rains, we can have a small break. <laughs> Which is also a rather interesting topic, I think. And it might look like it's、uh, contradicting something which was said earlier. But in fact, it's a bit more fine tuned. If you check. Pratamam. Pratamam. Tu. Prekshavan. It should be van. Here there's a mistake. Not prekshavam, but prekshavan. So prekshavan. Prekshavan. Arthakriya. Arthakriya. Arthitaya. Arthitaya. Jala. Jala. Anala. Anala. Adau. アルタクリア、サンデーハー、エヴァ、プラバルタテ、プラダマント、プレクシャーワン、アルタクリアアーティタヤ、ジャラナラダウ、アルタクリアサンデーハー、デヴァ、アルタクリアサンデーハーテヴァ、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、プラバルタデー、Because he is an arti, so artita, artita ya is third vibhakti. So because he has the quality of being artin, which is someone who has got artha, who has got a purpose. And what is his purpose? Artha kriya, a purposeful activity, purposeful efficacy. So he expects some efficacy. Because he expects some efficacy, expecting some efficacy. Expecting some efficacy, what does he do? Pravartate, he engages Jala Anala Adau in、uh, water, fire, etc. But out of what? What's the reason for his engaging in it? Arta Kriya Sandeha at Eva, just because he has some kind of、uh, expectation that there might be Arta Kriya. So Sandeha yet doesn't mean. <laughs> It's a doubt, but it's a positive doubt. That's a problem with the word doubt. If we translate it as doubt, usually we don't. Some are uncertain e x p e c t a t i o n s a n d e h a i is an ex- uncertain expectation. So it's the opposite of certain knowledge. He doesn't really know for sure that they're going to have a Takriya. He has got some s a n d e h a inside. But even though there is some Sandeha, anticipation could be. But anticipation could be certain. I certainly anticipate something. Uncertainty tolerance.、Hmm? High uncertainty tolerance person. You are a high uncertainty tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> but I think、uh, the idea is、uh, interesting. And the idea is also discussed by Kamala Shila while discussing the Anubanda、uh, Chatushtaya of the Tattva Sangraha. Because actually, even if the author tells us, I'm going to speak about Praditya Samutpada, well, how do we know that it's true? The author is telling us, but we have no way to know that the author is going to maintain his promise. That's just the Pratitya in the beginning, but maybe not. Maybe he says like this, but later he talks about something else. So we always have a certain element of doubt. Then how can you say that the Anubandha Chatushtaya, when it gives you the Abhideya, is going to help you? But the answer is 
yes, there is always some element of doubt, but there's also some reasonable expectation. So even when there is some data, you are going to do something. So for example, if you are a farmer, you're not 100% sure that when you put seed, you really are going to get the plants, because many things can happen in between. But nevertheless, you still plant the seed, because you think that it's at least probable that you'll get the plant. So he says that actually, very often, we engage in something out of sandeha, not out of certainty. Oh, so okay. it's very interesting uh, perspective on something. <laughs> yeah, actually, mm. although it's vichikitsa, etc., in some ways are, mm. but this is different from vichikitsa. It's something mm -hmm. slightly different. It just means that you cannot have complete certainty mm -hmm. about something, but you have good reason to think that it will probably work, and therefore you engage in it. And actually, this is the situation for most of our activities. We are never 100% sure in terms of predictions. Like, if somebody knocks at the door, I'm not 100% sure that there's going to be a person behind the door. Many things could happen. It could be my own illusion. But nevertheless, it seems reasonable to go and check. So, that's the kind of idea of Sandeha here. So, and, but, and he explains, actually, uh, this is quite interesting, that we might have an element of doubt or uncertainty. Actually, Sandeha here could be just translated as uncertainty. He, he acts out of uncertainty, of some, some uncertainty about Arta Kriya. And we may not be aware of it. We may not be aware about that there is uncertainty. But still it is there. And now he's going to make that point. So, 1.4.16 Yadi Nama Tasya Eva Na Asti Sandeha Me Vartate Iti Tatha Api Sadaka, Sadaka Badaka, Badaka Pramana, Pramana Abhavat Yukta Sandeha Bhavan Kena Varyate Iti. Okay. Yadinama Tasyevanasti Sandeho me vartataiti Sandeho me vartataiti Tathapi Sadaka Badaka pramana bhavat Badaka pramana bhavat Yuktaha sandeho bhavan Yuktaha sandeho bhavan Kena varyate Kena varyate Iti Now I have a small suspicion that Tasyeva is a mistake, that it should be tasya evam. Tasya evam, not tasya eva. Uh, what does the addition actually have? <laughs> I would be tempted of... Uh, Anyhow, amending because Tasyeva is a bad reading. Tasyevam would be a good reading. It's Tasyeva. In the edition, it seems to be Tasyeva. But, uh, but um, I have some suspicion about this Tasyeva, and I want to check then even the Tibetan possibly. 
So let me see if I can find it quickly in the Tibetan. Let's see. Maybe I can find it. Maybe it's ah, but not really printed so nicely. Yep. Wow. Now some of it is barely readable. I would prefer to see them. That's something I would like to... Yeah, it's a bit odd for me that it is Tassieva, honestly. But anyways, let's... Maybe we stick to what we have and then think about it. No, but it should be even. Uh, it's Yadinama, if, even though, so, if, indeed, it is the case that Tassia, for that person, even nasty, this does not occur, so he doesn't have this thought. What is his thought? Sandeha me vartate, I have some uncertainty. So, even though it might not consciously occur to this person that he has got some... Uh, uh, uncertainty. Actually, since you're here, I have a big suspicion. <laughs> the the okay. addition is Tassieva, but I think here it should be Tassia Evan Nasty. Yadinama Tassia Evan Nasty. Sandeho me vartateiti. Hmm, yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, is there any referent of this Tassia person? It's the Prekshavan who was uh -huh, earlier, okay. he, he has got Sandeha, we know it, but and the point here is that... Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it, the Eva is not doing much. Yet. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, good point. Maybe Eva is better, right? Possible, yeah. I, I'm trying to check the Tibetan, but it's one case where I got a bad block print, look. Oh. Mm, okay, well, not that uh, I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> something has happened. Hmm. But it's not like. Uh, was it the back translation from Tibetan? No. No, it's an edition. Yeah. But uh, it, when edition was made? The very first one might have been a back translation, right. but yeah. the second one, which is. Okay, this, so this, yeah. is, this part is. It was in some manuscript at least. Oh, okay. So, hmm. but I want to eventually check the Tibetan and I'll, I'll try to get a better... Yeah, no. I wonder if this uh, bad yes. condition sort of affected this part of it. No, but there's many different things yeah. printed, <laughs> yeah. so this must be really, okay. really quite odd. Mm. And one thing, there has to be a Japanese translation of the uh, Tarkabasha, right? Uh, yeah. Was Kazuyama's in English or what? In English. Oh, okay. At least yeah, the reason. Probably is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, yeah, I, not that I'm aware of it, but I assume there should be one. Do you think you could easily get it? I will have to check. Or maybe we can ask Kay. Well, I can easily check if, yeah, just, uh, Maybe it's available online even, because it fits um, from, like, 20, 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'm, yeah, so, the, I can't immediately think who translated and, uh, But anyways, if you... Yeah. If I... Yeah, if you remind me. Okay, I will. <laughs> I will. Okay. So, uh, yeah, now that race seems over, uh, what's your uh, reading for 
a while more and then okay. I will see my physical status. Okay. <laughs> I, I will walk home. Ah, okay, good luck. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I take the rain easily. I think so too. I yes. hope so. See you soon. See you soon. I think it should be Evan. And uh, Kengo seems to agree. So, Yadinao Matasya, Evan Nasty. Evan nasty. So, this following thought does not occur to him. What is the thought? Sandeha me vartate. I have uncertainty. So, even though he might not be conscious of his uncertainty, Tatapi, nevertheless, Sadaka Badaka Pramana Abhava. Since there is no proving or refuting Pramana, so nothing that could prove the Artha Kriya or nothing that could refute the Artha Kriya, Yukta Sandeha, therefore Yukta Sandeha Bhavan, since the Sandeha is Yukta, it makes sense, Kena Varyate, who, what is going to remove that Sandeha? What is going to block that Sandeha? Nothing can block that Sandeha because it's Yukta. So, someone is going to have a Sandeha if one doesn't have a sadhaka or badaka pramana. Now, this is a very interesting point about uh, pramana theory, which I would like you to reflect for a moment. The point is that, and this is a point which was made even by other philosophers in other contexts, but we don't choose what we doubt and what we are convinced of. It's impossible. We cannot consciously just out of volition, choose that we really are certain of something or we really are uncertain of something. It's more like we obtain a certain evidence and our conviction follows, whether we like it or not. This evidence is here called sadaka and badaka pramana. So when we have a certain type of cognition in this context, which is proximate to the sen senses, or when we have a reasoning which is really convincing, etc., automatically we obtain a certainty or an, a certain type of uncertainty. If the reasoning is wrong, we might not know it. This seems to be implied. We might not know it, but actually we are not really certain yet. We haven't achieved real determination. We haven't really ascertained how things are. So, Certainly, certainty only occurs in genuine certainty has to have Buddha Artha. So, prama, that's why Pramana is linked to uh, Vipassana in the end. But it's an interesting idea. The idea is that you obtain uh, an ascertainment and uh, then you cannot choose. You cannot choose whether you do have doubt or not. And until you obtain the ascertainment, it's the same thing. You cannot choose whether you have doubt or not. If you don't have the ascertainment, you can try to be convinced of something, but it just won't happen, because you don't have really a basis which prompts your conviction. So that's part of the rationale behind what I was discussing yesterday with Venerable Choten. In the Tibetan tradition, this idea is insisted upon a lot. Before one does bhavana, one has to have nishchaya. Because if one doesn't have nishchaya, this ascertainment, let's say that one starts to do bhavana without the nishchaya, then that means that actually, even if one tries to think, oh, I'm really convinced of emptiness, but if one has no reason for that, the conviction is not genuine. So, actually, there is no real stable basis for any further um, cultivation of emptiness. This, is the, this is point is made rather emphatically by Mipan Rinpoche, for example. He explains the importance of Nishtha in that context. And the basis of that is that we cannot choose whether we are really convinced of something or not we need some kind of uh, ground to be 
convinced of them. Nishchaya could be also a conviction. Nish, yeah, a conviction, clear determination, ascertainment. Nishchaya is more like an ascertainment. Not certainty. Certainty. Also certainty. So certainty seems to be very important in Pramana and accordingly in the Tibetan tradition. This should not be mistaken to mean that for the Tibetan tradition, unless you study Pramana, you cannot get ascertainment. That's not the point, because Pramana exists later than the Buddha, for example. But they make the point that it's easier to get ascertainment through study. That's the point that they make. Some people can get it without study, but it's very rare. One needs to have lots of merit and uh, wisdom. That's the idea. But the more accessible type of ascertainment happens through study. This is more or less the point that is made by Mipan Rinpoche, but it's made in not so many words by others too. And all of that comes from this Pramana tradition. And you can see you can start seeing how it is so when you think of this type of passage, like the one we just looked. Even if he doesn't know that he has got uncertainty consciously, how can it be removed if he doesn't have sadhak and badaka pramana? If, if the uncertainty is yukta, if it is reasonable, it will remain there, whether one is conscious of it or not. Then he says, 1, 4, 17, Tasma. Mm, sorry, could you explain again the sentence, Tathapi? Tathapi, nevertheless, this sandeha, this uncertainty, which is reasonable, yukta bhavan, because of the absence of establishing or refuting pramanas, so pramanas which can establish or refute something, kena varyate, by what is it going to be worded off? That's a question. So in other words, there's going to be Sandeha, you can't do anything about it. Whoops, I'm afraid that Kengo was not that lucky. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, I saw the clouds, but <laughs> I felt, okay, you feel it's not going to rain, I cannot uh, insist on the opposite. <laughs> Ambuddha. It looked like Ambuddha. <coughs> so, Tasmat. Stitam Eta Eta Asadita Asadita Nirantara Nirantara Arthakriya Arthakriya Yavahara Yavahara Patu Patu Tara Tara Pratyaksha Pratyaksha Udaya Udaya Eva Eva Arthe Arthe Pravartate Pravartate Manda buddhihi, Manda buddhihi, tu, tu, ta drupya, ta drupya, anumana, anumana, iti, iti. Okay. Tasmat sthita meta. Tasmat sthita meta. Asadita nirantara artha kriya vyavahara. Asadita nirantara kriya vyavahara. Patutara Pratyakshodaya Patutara Pratyakshodaya Eva Eva Arte Pravartate Arte Pravartate Manda Buddhisto Manda Buddhisto There should be a space Tadrupya Anumana Diti Tadrupya Anumana Diti There should be a space after Manda Buddhi Space 2 And the space after Anumana Diti is it a tat or a tat? T or D? 
the first line. Uh, T because there's a hyphen there, so it's an um, editorial choice that I have repeated. It's okay either way because uh, it's not a compound. You see, there's a space right. after the hyphen, so... Okay. Therefore, this is settled. Tasmar What? So this is our conclusion. What is settled? Because the Arta Kriya Vyavahara, the con convention, conventional expression of Arta Kriya, Asadita Nirantara, has been immediately or right away Asadita uh, established, maybe you can say. Patutara Pratyakshodaya Eva Arthe Pravartate Due to the arising of a stronger, a clearer Pratyaksha, a clearer cognition with, of proximity with the sense, to the senses, Arthe Pravartate, just due to that, that somebody engages in the Artha. Manda Buddhi too, but on the other hand, somebody who is slower in one's cognition, tad rupya anumana, engages in the object due to a subsequent consideration or evaluation of tad rupya, of something having such a nature. So, he looks at somebody doing something and he infers that the object that's being handled by that person has got such and such uh, rupa. So this is this uh, puts this together with what he had said earlier about Manda Buddhi and Amanda Buddhi. And now he puts this together with uh, the question of Swataha Pramanyam and Parataha Pramanyam. When something has got Pramanyam, so when something has got the quality of being Pramana, is it Swataha Pramanyam? Does it have that quality inherently on its own right? Or does it pramanya depend on something outside of it? This is the question. So he says, Ataha eva Ataha eva tu pratyakshasya swataha pramanya Ataha eva tu pratyakshasya swataha pramanya just because of this, Ataeva, Pratyakshasya Swataha Pramanya. Pratyaksha has the quality of being Pramana on its own right. So it is Pramana on its own accord, without the need of anything apart from itself. It is Pramana without needing anything further. When it is Pratyaksha, it's immediately Pramana. So this is a quality of pra Pratyaksha is always Pramana on its own. Kasya Chi Tu Parataha Kasya Chi Tu Parataha Kasya Chi Tu Parataha But for some people, actually, its Pramanya comes from something else. So, Pratyaksha should be Swadat Praman, Chudar Swadat, but for some people it is Parataha Pramanya. Why? Because in the case of the Manda Buddhi, that person sees water, but he doesn't get convinced of the Artha Kriya of water until he sees somebody doing something and he makes an inference. Then that perception of water obtains its Pramanya from something else. So for some people it becomes Parataha Pramanya. Yogi Jnanasya Yogi Jnanasya Swasamvedanasya Swasamvedanasya Cha Swataha Eva Pramanyam Yogi Jnanasya Swasamvedanasya Cha Yogi Jnanasya Swasamvedanasya Cha Swataheva Pramanyam Swataheva Pramanyam for the yogi jnana, the awareness of yogis, and for self-awareness, reflexive awareness, 
pramanyam, the quality of being pramana, swata eva. It's only swataha. It's only from uh, one's own. Um, how do you say? It's only from itself. It, it never depends on something else. And I will expand upon it in a minute. I want to finish uh, with Anumana too. Anumanasya tu nishchaya atmakatva swataha eva pramanyam. And for Anumana, for subsequent evaluation, since it has the nature of being nishchaya, a certainty, swataha eva pramanyam. It is, it has the quality of being pramana on its own accord, without depending on something else. So, anumana syatu, anumana syatu, nishchayat makatvat, nishchayat makatvat, swatayeva pramanya. Swatayeva pramanya. So, what he says, he anticipated some subdivisions of pratyaksha, which he hasn't told us yet, but actually pratyaksha has many different types. So, what kind of pratyaksha is there? Indriya jnana is pratyaksha. Then there is manaha pratyaksha, there's the mental pratyaksha. Then there is yogi jnana, and then there is swasamvedana jnana. These four. So, the first one is five indriyas, so the connection to the five indriyas. The second one is the mind, connection to the mind. The third one is Yogi Pratyaksha, which always sees things as they are, so that's why it's Vataha Pramanya. So, and the last one is the Swasandedanas, the fact that each moment of mind also cognizes itself. So when the mind cognizes the object, it also is aware of itself. It's not just aware of the object, it's also aware of itself. And that awareness doesn't need something else to be validated. It's self-validating. So, only the first type of pratyaksha, the one that comes from the eye, the ear, etc., or the mind, needs, can need some other validation, if it's not clear enough. So, if somebody doesn't have a very clear cognition, cognition they might need something else to validate what they're seeing. So, I don't see clearly that it's water. I need somebody to handle that water to see what it is. So sometimes it's swata, sometimes it's not swata. But for, for the other two, for the uh, Swasamvedana and Yogi Jnana, they don't need any other validation. And Anumana, since Anumana is considered here, is referring to the correct reasoning. The correct reasoning gives rise to certainty. Then one doesn't need Pramana from anything else. So this is the... One doesn't need to prove pramanya from anything else more, because it's already a certainty. So, it's self-sufficient, in other words. So you see, we did finish it. It's too bad we don't have more.